Loyalty, so we just went ahead and finished the May Monthly Awards program, and we got a second baseman to debut. We got to see how good Marcus Semien is. So this is the lineup for today. We got ourselves Blade Mist leading it off. That is my cap, primary archetype, the Hawk. Then we got Marcus Semien hitting right after him. We're going to have Christian Yelich hitting third. Right after him is going to be Dante Bichette making his debut as well. After Dante is going to be Gary Sanchez. I think if you don't have Jorge Posada, Gary Sanchez is definitely the best catcher available besides Jorge Posada. After that, Jim Tomey, Byron Buxton, and then Ronnie Mauricio. We have him at third base. For some reason, I think he's a lot better than Trent. Or not Trent, but Jordan Groshans. I don't know why I keep saying Trent. In the starting pitcher section, not sure which one of these four are going to start, but whoever does, hopefully we have some fun with them. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button as it helps out the channel tremendously. Turn on the channel notifications and then inside the description, you'll get the Discord, you'll get how to become a member and all of my other social medias. We stream each and every single day at 1 a.m. Eastern just in case you ever want to stop by for a stream and say what's up on Twitch on twitch so make sure you click on the twitch link and follow as well let's get into it so in today's matchup i'm not sure who that pitcher is i believe it's john means and we're playing at center city field so let's have some fun here marcus Semyon, perfect perfect it's gonna start off with the dinger that's how he makes his debut to the team let's go baby that's what i wanted to see too he's got some pop against John Means, lefty. I'm not sure what his attributes are. I didn't even really look at them, but 108 power against lefties. He's definitely got some pop against them. And then we have Christian. That has to be another solo shot in my opinion. We're going slow motion. It's going to hit off the wall. I thought it was going to be a solo shot. I think we have a chance to get third base, no problem here. So we're going to dive in there safely. Let's go. Dante if that's not a home run I don't know what to say now the fielding is the downside to Dante but when you get past that and you look at his offensive side you're gonna be happy bombas inside the chat make sure y'all keeping track of how many bombas we hit this game then we have Jim I mean it's bomba city in the top of the first I thought that was gonna hit off the foul pole but lefty on lefty it don't matter to us we do our thing. Barn Buxton, base hit right back up the middle. We're going to steal with him instantly. I believe we have Ronnie Mauricio up next, so we're still in good hands right now. But we're going again for sure. We won again, just laid on it, hit it the other way. That's going to allow him to get all the way to third base. Runners on the corner. It's a damn shame it's the pitcher up. Oh, man. How do we miss a fastball right down the pipe like that? I missed two fastballs right down the pipe like that. Now it's time for me to see what Cliff Lee is really about. Bunt defense each and every single time we have a speedy runner like Kenny Lofton because I don't want them to go ahead and actually bunt for a base hit. Now I might have stick drift on my controller because for some reason whenever I try to use pinpoint it like makes the button move a little bit more than it should or makes the accuracy just be a lot worse than i'm actually aiming it as but we got that out as you all could see marcus Semyon, he can play second base pretty well i mean he only had one play but he still played it pretty well now the one thing i do have to say about this cliff lee card is he's not gonna be a strikeout pitcher on all-star difficulty most likely not even gonna be really a strikeout pitcher like that on Hall of Famer legend difficulty. What he's gonna be is someone that is going to cause a lot of bad swings, a lot of ground balls, a lot of fly balls, just because of the simple fact that his control is so good in this game that he's gonna be able to pinpoint exactly as you want him to. Unless of course your controller got stick drift like mine. There we go. We got him looking. That's why I like Cliff Lee. He's most likely gonna quit out here. All right, so let's go on to game number two with Marcus Semien. Cliff Lee is done making his debut as well. Let's go to Roy Oswald as we hit 676. So now we're going to get a Roy Oswald debut as well. We got another lefty facing us, and he has a lot of players paralleled. So hopefully this is a good game. We're at home. Let's have some fun. So as always, we always just put bunt defense whenever we see a Kenny Lofton card. 
because we don't want that Kenny Lofton just getting a base hit and then stealing the bases on us. Granted, we do have a good catcher now with Gary Sanchez in terms of arm strength, so we're happy because of that, at least. Should be an easy out. Again, Marcus Semyon doing his thing again. Showing you guys he got a glove too. So he's showing you guys everything. He's showing you the bat. Now he's showing you the defense and all of that. All right, he's slowing down his swing a little bit more. Let's go with a slider back inside. We get the strikeout. Let's go, Roy Oswalt. 3-1 count to Marcus. We need a base hit here. He walks him. I guess he's a little scared of him. I would be too. Then we have Christian getting himself a double. I don't know if Marcus has the speed. He should have the speed to score easily right there. But that was a good throw by Fernando Tatis. He got a perfect throw, perfect relay, perfect everything. We just got really lucky. We just got extremely lucky if you ask me. Hard hit ball right at the center fielder, although should be enough to drive in the run. And it's going to be a 2-0 ball game. If it didn't lag a little bit when that center fielder caught the ball, I would have been able to get a better jump going home, in my opinion. Is that a base hit? Yes, sir. Listen, I'm telling you, this catcher card is one of the best in the game. I wouldn't lie to you all. You see, I tried to do the same thing I did with Christian, which was take an inside fastball and drive it into the gap. Unfortunately, although, it seems that Jim does not have the same exact swing as Christian. Like, Christian has a really fast swing in the game, so it helps him out a ton. But Jim, we were just late in terms of timing. Can we strike him out with a 12-6? This is the only pitch we haven't thrown yet. If it doesn't hang, we should be in good hands. It hung a little bit. He gets himself a base hit. Dante Bichette had a little bit of a bad reaction there, but that's to be expected. I was going for the strikeout straight up. I didn't want to waste any time. And he has Grady Sizemore too, so this is the first time we face Grady. He's really steep. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. He really just took that out on me. I did not expect that. Tie ball game, brand new ball game. So I guess Grady Sizemore must be the real deal against righties. Yeah, good swing timing on that. Probably should have brought in my fielding because, as always, I expect them to always bunt with Billy Hamilton. So that's my own fault for not bringing in my fielding because that's usually what everyone that has Billy, Billy Hamilton does. He's going to try to steal third too, I promise you all that. Maybe not this pitch, but the next one. And then Marcus showing us the gold glove. I thought there were three outs. He's not going to catch me again. Goodbye. This is the problem with MLB The Show. They don't even have animations when it comes to the catcher tagging the base runner. Ronnie Mauricio. If that's not a home run, this kid has no pop whatsoever. Let's go, baby. Boom, by inside the chat. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I need Roy Oswald to do something, too. Because ain't no way you give up that home run to Grady Sizemore. He hit the ball well. Right at the first baseman. But he hit it well. So, we got to give him his respect right there. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. If I like it, I'm swinging. That was supposed to be a check swing, though, because I didn't really like that changeup as much. I thought it was a fastball at first. Once I realized it wasn't a fastball, I was like, hey, check. But I guess the check didn't go our way. Nice to have a 1-2-3 inning with Roy. Definitely nice. Marcus with another home run. I mean, Bomba City. This card, this is all-star difficulty. Yes, 100%. But with 108 power against left, even on Hall of Fame legend difficulty, with the contact he has, you should be straight in my opinion. You should be straight. And then Christian. That, this is what I say about Christian. And I wish, or listen, if you don't know this already, Christian is going to get a way better card than his Life Series Diamond. He has one of the best swings in the game. If not the best swing. Like, if you're wondering, hey, what should I make my cap? Christian is never a bad option. I have Ozzy Albis, although. 
just letting you know as we get underneath that one. And then Scary Gary the Kraken. Another boom. But that's what I'm talking about. Let's get these runs up, man. We've been slacking in terms of hitting. We've been slacking in terms of hitting. And y'all might be saying, how have you been slacking? You got six runs, Blade. Like, what are you talking about slacking? You're doing better than most of us ever would. I should have had more. So, yes, we ended up losing connection with our opponent. This game should be taking us to Hall of Fame difficulty. So, yes, it did just that. And our next Player of the Month debuts, it's going to be on Hall of Fame difficulty. So, you guys won't be able to tell me, hey, Blade, you're only hitting like this because you're playing on All-Star difficulty. I bet if you were playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, you wouldn't be hitting like that. We're going to see about that, right? And the next player we're going to debut is going to be Jesse winker on hall of fame difficulty so i'm excited to see how he performs if you did end up enjoying today's content please make sure to hit that like button red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all my socials everything you need is inside the description box from how to become a member to the discord to all my socials turn on the notifications have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next one peace out